and we see here at Vivid the 3D mapping. I found a program that's pretty easy uh, to use, taught myself in the day. It's called VPT7. Now, you set up your projector to your island that you're projecting on. You get a short throw projector, you can bring the projector a lot closer or a lot larger area. So, it's not permanent marker? They, no, they're all whiteboard markers, I'll just check. Okay. Oh, hang on, that one. Please watch that. <laughs> no idea, like, so far today. Here's the wrong one. Alright, so, let's say we've got a roof. Alright? Um, we might make it a little bit more 3D ish. So we've got a roof. Alright, uh, we've got that side of the, the front of the house, the side of the house. So, very basic. Now, I've got my program here. Preview, output. Now, you're not, you're not going to see too much of this green. I'll take this and get it out of the way. Um, but basically what we've got here is four options of what we can do. So we've got um, option one here. We could put something in there. Um, you're not seeing a lot because it's here. Get rid of this something overlaying it. So you can drag the corners down. And all will be unveiled. There it is there. Okay. So I'll bring this screen back so you can hopefully see a bit of it. There we go. So what we've got here is your input methods. Um, what file are you going to use to project? It could be a video, it could be a photo, um, you could use a sound file. Um, so we'll go in here. Oh, yeah, we like this one. So, creepy pumpkins. Yeah, so, that's in setup of one. So, I don't know whether you can see it in the top left hand corner up there. Yeah? Hey? It's not looking very good. So, we want to bring that down over the top of here. Okay, so I'm going to have to enlarge this and just play with it. Output, enlarge this one. Hmm, I need to make this one my second screen. Change that back. Settings. Uh, where was it? And make this one the second screen, the projector the second screen. This one? Output two, we're going to extend it, yep. Yep, push it this way to us monitor, that'll push it to the right. Okay. Alright, so you got the second screen over there. Beautiful. So, that's the preview window. We give you the output window. We're going to put this over here. Make that a bit bigger. Can we go like this and just cheat a bit? No, we're going to go full size. Now, I'm going to grab the... Um, 
That's number one we want. There it's there. So I need to get these other ones just out of the way <coughs> to work. So it's a bit of mucking around, but as you can see, you can move the lighting as to where you want. And I think you'll be quite happy when you see what happens. Okay, now when I go back and pick up number one, I want to bring that, let's say, we'll put it there. Okay, the other corner must be close to about there. Oh, don't twist the image too much. And Steve would be loving this when he's watching this. Hi, Steve. Okay. So we have that. Now, what we can do is also put the music on. Okay. So we've we'll just... We're not using lights at all, we're just projecting now. Now we'll grab another section. Uh, number two. Alright, let's make that um, oh, frogs. Alright, so we want the frogs. Where do we want that? On the top of the roof? On the side? This was really interesting. Put it on the side of the building. And as you can see, it will look like you're using a second projector. Okay. So, and you just keep adding and adding and adding. That video could be the whole house. The inserts could be over the top of the video. You can fade in and out. Um, so if I overlap this one, you, you know, which one's going to be the stronger visual thing? Um, and, and move them to wherever suited. It's a free program. I mean... Next year, maybe I won't hang Christmas lights. Maybe I'll just put a projector across the road and a video projection of lights, you know? Um, but it's hard because you've got Virtual Santa and all the kids come from Virtual Santa, so where does the projector sit? You know, I think another one. But, um... Yeah, well, Halloween I do. I've got a, a vacant house across the road, a bit of a ghost house, and I'll project onto that, uh, and it comes up really well. Um, but, so I'll bring this screen back so you can have a look over here. Yeah, uh, yeah I'll have to move it. So... In here, I've added the pumpkins, the frogs. I mean, I can choose something else. Uh, you know, maybe I don't want crazy frog, uh, creepy pump, pump, pumpkins. So I'll go to frog. Oh, I might put it here, as we've already got it there. Um, on. Move this aside. And be a bit more kid orientated. Um, play videos. You know, we're all sequencing lights to music. Grab the music video. Add that up there as well. You know. Um, have a live feed. Video camera. But a lot of us are using cameras. Put the camera through it. Um, the kids will see themselves on your house. They'll be like, wow, look. You know? It's, um... can be more interactive. And, that, and that's, that's what I found. It was a big hit last year. Do we have to configure the actual hardware? Um, no. It, it's all come uh, set up. 
that there's actually a, what do they call it, VPT7 uh, chat forum as well. Um, so if you, you get any extra problems, I found it hard to find where the mu how to get music on the one. But it was just a simple flick of the switch and it was done. Um, so this is their the seventh program, their the seventh listing. And it's so easy to do. I project the, this frog onto a very large area. And you would swear that I'm projecting it from here and not over there. Um, you know, I, I could keep going and just keep moving stuff around. Uh, as as got yeah, the, the projector, I paid, um, that's not a short throw, uh, it's about $350 off eBay, delivered. Uh, price of a globe, $299 from China. Oh, mm. Printer, I mean um, globe, new projector, just get a new projector. Uh, but then... You, you can get more high resolution, better projectors, and if you're spending so unless you're more money, you, you could buy, go buy a second-hand $80,000 one after the Vivid show. <laughs> 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 you know? Um, and, and really set up, uh, and set it up in town, you know? Was that, that projector good enough? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're projecting on the side of a tent, but that's yeah, not like yeah. proper. Well, and, and it was raining over Easter, yeah. so I put my projector in the back of my car, and um, I had the canopy on, so it was shining through the glass. I had to come along and be like a human windscreen wiper, <laughs> and um, it was projecting really well onto the tent, and everyone loved it. Um, turned out a treat. Didn't have to card all my lights. None of my lights got broken. Just a box with a projector and my computer. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. That's it. It, it. You just get something up and out there. I mean, the vacant house across the road, nobody lives there. Shine the light on it, you know. Let's have another house in the street with Christmas lights. <laughs> no, no nails, you know, near walls. All good. So, as you can see, it, it's pretty easy. This is a free program. There are a few little bugs and quirks. If I rush it, try to get it to do too much, maybe it's not in sync with the 64-bit of, of my computer. Uh, Windows 8.1. I'm um, looking forward to 10. Uh, there's a lot of conflict errors, and I think that would be the problem, not the actual program. But restart, put it all back together. With a projector, um, the main thing is you put it back in the same place. Steve did some great projection work um, at, at Christmas, yeah, frozen. And you have to build a little projector stand and get an old microwave or make a porcelain box or something to put the projector in, keep it um, weatherproof, and then keep putting the projector in that same spot every night and just play it, play it from there. Your, your files, I know Lightarama, um, I already do MP4 files rather than MP3 files, so I'm projecting um, Santa symp uh, symphonies, so Santa's actually conducting the music while the lights are playing, you know, so, and, and then with the interactive controller, we'll get that going. Um, they're coming along, they're pressing buttons, they're changing the colour of their house, I think it's great. That's it. I'm done. It's easy. It's free. You all love that. It's all free. Can you blank out areas over it? So if yeah. you've got a feature, so okay. you've got blank squares I, or I, circles. Or I did something like that. I, I wanted an area blank. Yeah. So I got a black picture. Right. And I drag the black the picture in there yeah. and I can make it round, I can change the shapes. There's a lot to it in this program. Um, all, all in the settings down here, the flips and, and things, the mask, the mesh, uh, change the colour. Um, 
diff these are different presentations. These are the different ones here to control. So I've turned it on here. This is number two, so that refers to there. What are we doing to it? We're using a video output. Um, and on here you can have eight. Eight. Yeah. Um, what's Steve using? Um, quick, uh, he's paid, paid for a program and it's going to run a lot better. Um, I can't think of it. But um, yeah, for a freebie, worked alright. Done the job. And it just keeps on replaying over and over the video. So once it's set up, you don't have to do anything. 